social learning. I think aquifers, coastal aquifers, uh, could be regarded as learning systems, social learning systems. Because in the coastal aquifers, uh, a lot of uh, different stakeholders interact, actors, customers, owners, and if uh, to, to, to look for a sustainable coastal aquifer management, we need to generate new learning spaces so that we can uh, understand the nature of the issues and progress uh, towards an improvement of the situations. I would like to make uh, uh, a simple example from the coastal aquifer of Arborea in Sardinia. This is a nitrate vulnerable zone, uh, so the water, the groundwater, is polluted by nitrates uh, that are from agricultural origin. It's an area of very highly intensive dairy farming systems. However, uh, the um, implementation of the nitrates directive since uh, almost 20 years had no effects. The nitrate pollution is still increasing. And this probably depends on the fact that the nitrate directive regards aquifers as, as tanks, not learning system. It doesn't regard people learning on how to manage the situation. These nitrates are in the groundwater. Nobody is using this groundwater because people is using surface water. But the farmers working uh, in this area are suffering from increased costs related to the management of animal effluents. With this, I don't want to say that they should continue to uh, pollute, but I think it is important that we regard uh, the aquifers as a learning system, which means find new spaces to understand how uh, all the different stakeholders can improve the situation.